Hello all, welcome to Wise Beacon. In India, temples are always considered as a part of life and the people believe that visiting temples and worshipping the gods is the way of life. It is evident that worshipping gods and mediating in the shrines increase our concentration and peace of mind. Each and every temple in India is unique and has interesting histories behind them. One such temple is Manglanada Swami Temple in India. Okay, what is so special about this temple? and why it is considered so special. Let's get into the video to find out about the same. Puttira Kosa Mangai Temple is also known as Mangalanatha Swami Temple. It is located in Tamil Nadu, India. It is one of the most ancient Shiva temples. The temple's name Puttira Kosa Mangai stems from Lord's teachings to Godwas Parvati about sacred scriptures. This temple is believed to be the native of Lord Shiva. This temple is worshipped by all the rishis, sages and siddhas around the world. This temple is estimated to be around 3000 years old. Normally, in a Shiva's temple, you will find only one Nandi statue. But here in this temple, there are two statues of Nandi, which is Lord Shiva's sacred bull. However, the main attraction and the unique speciality of the temple is a 6-foot emerald idol of Lord Nadraja, which is Lord Shiva in his cosmic dance form. What makes it special is, it is uniquely made of emerald and is kept covered in a sandalwood paste throughout the year. This is because it is scientifically believed that emeralds are more sensitive and can't withstand sunlight and water. So even inside the temple, there are no musical instruments played, nor the sound is allowed to be produced more than if it's a decibel. It is believed to have been constructed by thousand Shiva devotees who attain spiritual liberation simultaneously. Okay, why is this temple called Uttira Kosa Mangai. Uttiram in Tamil means sermon, Kosam in Tamil means secrets, and Mangai refers to Goddess Parvati in Tamil. The place got this name Uttira Kosa Mangai from the fact that Lord Shiva taught Parvati secrets of the Vedas. And an interesting fact is that in the 13th century, famous Mughal king Alauddin Gilji tried to loot the Lord Nadraja idol from the temple, but he failed in his plan miserably. Okay, what is the history behind the temple? As per Hindu legend, one hundreds of aesthetics performed penance worshipping Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva told the aesthetics that he would appear in the form of a fireball to acknowledge the penance of Mandodri, the wife of King Ravana in Sri Lanka. Shiva appeared in the form of a small child in Ravana's palace. Ravana then lifted the beautiful child and there was a small wound out of it. Simultaneously, there was a fireball out of temple stand which the aesthetics felt on were on the account of Lord Shiva attacking Ravana. Out of 1000, 999 rishis killed themselves by falling in the fire, while one of them remained to save the Vedic books. Lord Shiva was pleased by the aesthetic and appeared as 1000 lingams for the 999 and one more for himself in the temple. The single aesthetic was believed to have emerged later as Manika Vasakar in his later birth, who became to be known as one of the greatest Shaivat saint and poet in Tamil. The most striking feature in the temple is, there are two Yalis, an ancient believed existed animal, located at the entrance of the temple. Out of all Yalis, these two remain special in the temple. These Yalis have a ball of stone in their mouths. The stone can be moved by inserting our hands in their mouths. It is believed that a newly wed couple will lead a happy life if they stand together and worship the deity. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please give a like, comment, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you.